Finally, Mr. Speaker, while we expand testing to find the virus, the best way to liberate and to get life closer to normal is a vaccine. And I can report to the House the news of the first phase three trial results of any vaccine anywhere in the world. After tests on 43,000 volunteers, of whom half got the vaccine and half got a placebo, interim results suggest it's proving 90% effective at protecting people against the virus. And we secured an order of 40 million doses. This puts us towards the front of the international pack. And we've placed orders for 300 million further doses from five other vaccine candidates which are yet to report their phase three results, including, of course, the Oxford AstraZeneca vaccine. Mr Speaker, if this or any other vaccine is approved, we will be ready to begin a large-scale vaccination programme. First, to priority groups, as recommended by the Independent Joint Committee on Vaccination and Immunisation before wide, rolling it out more widely. Our plans for deployment of a COVID vaccine are built on tried and tested plans for a flu vaccine, which we of course deploy every autumn. We do not yet know whether or when a vaccine is approved, but I have tasked the NHS with being ready from any date from the 1st of December. The logistics are complex, the uncertainties are real, and the scale of the job is vast. But I know that the NHS, brilliantly assisted by the armed services,